There you should be able to see some of the, the difference. So I cleaned the bottom of the left hand side, but not the right hand side. Now I gotta get the right hand side nice and cleaned up. And right down there it splits. And then we got the RW20s making some good flow. They changed throughout the day. They're on the seasons table, so it's a little different every day. I think I have them peaked at 85%, so they're not even hitting 100 at any time. And you can see the H2 overflows. There's no oily slime residue build up any anything like that on the surface. It's all clean. I never understand why everybody complains and says them things are too small. Well, it's like, have you ever looked at like a, a Marineland 300 Double D? The actual tooth notch in one of them corner overflows is maybe eight inches, I would say, maybe. Which would put it at 16 inches of skimming area. Each one of these little tiny overflows is 17 and a half, so that's 35. So I have 35 versus the 16 on there. And I think if you do the math, let's see, we got six by three, that's what them are. That'd be 18 square feet. This is eight by four, so we're 32. So we're not even double this, the surface area on top, but we have over double the skimming capacity. So people really need to check their facts before they start putting things down. Because if you actually did the math, <laughs> wrong. They work great. Just because they look small. Doesn't matter. We got my clam here. He's not opening real wide. I think it's because of the, he's got like this great big huge stone attached to his foot. There's another one in there too, which there's a, a shell crawling on it I can see he got rid of, but he's still got that other one. And I think it's preventing him from laying how he wants to lay. Like one morning he was tipped right over, I had to lay him against the rock, but I don't want to touch it. I don't want to damage it. So I don't know. I got the pagoda cup here. And polyps are really starting to stick out of that guy pretty far. We got a hammer, galaxia. Um, we got the little maroon clone back there. There's a, a bubble tip in there. One of three, it's split. For some reason, they hang out in the rocks, upside down. They don't, apparently they don't want a lot of light. They've been that way for several months. Um, what do we got here? Another hammer there. Much bigger wall hammer. My leather back there. That's probably doubled in size since I got it a couple months ago. And we got the green carpet back there with the two little skunk clowns hosting it. And then the other day, this uh, was it a Pachi Ceres or something like that. It's like a Monte Poro with no polyps. He's there now, but I had him back here and he fell fell off. He was on top of my uh, Hollywood stunner there and now you can see the nice dead spot on top. But it should grow back fairly fast all the way around the edge of it. And I can see growth, it's been growing, so. That should come back in not too long. And then you got my idol, his streamer broke off the other day. But apparently that grows super fast too, because when he was in quarantine, it grew about three inches in the month that he was in there. So it doesn't take long. Might have got it stuck in the power head or something.
That's what I was worried about. Came home and it was gone. Yeah, for the most part, everything is looking good.